Hello, I am a physicist for Slalom Alpine Skiing. A physicist is a person that is an expert in or student of physics. Today I will be talking about how Newton's three laws of motion are used in this Olympic sport. Newton's first law of motion is inertia. Inertia is an object in motion tends to stay in motion and an object at rest tends to stay at rest unless acted on by an unbalanced force. Newton's second law of motion is acceleration. Acceleration is force equals mass times acceleration. Newton's third law of motion is action and reaction. Action and reaction is for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's first law of motion is involved in slalom alpine skiing when you first start off at the top of the hill all the way down to the bottom of the hill where you end your run. When you push off at the top of the hill, an unbalanced force is applied, causing you to move down the hill. When you are flying down the hill at 40 to 70 miles per second, your skis are pushing on the ground and the ground is pushing back on your skis. When you get to the bottom, another unbalanced force is applied when you are slowing down and coming to a stop. This is known as inertia. Newton's second law of motion is also used when you are slalom skiing. The second law, like I said before, is force equals mass times acceleration. Say you are traveling downhill 2,000 meters in 60 seconds. You take the distance divided by your time to get acceleration. In this case, it would be 33.3 .3 miles per second. The third law of motion is also used in slalom alpine skiing. When you push off with your poles, is known as the action. Your skis are going to move, or the reaction. To find the speed of a skier going downhill is distance divided by time in both parts of the sport. The second run is longer and angled more, so it will have a greater speed per second. Say a skier ran 220 meters with a time of 46.7 seconds, and so the average speed is 4.7 miles per second. For the second part, a skier ran 722 meters with a time of 54.8 seconds. And so the average speed for this part is 13.3 miles per second. Next, let's like talk about gravity. Gravity is a force that attracts a body toward the center of the Earth or toward any other physical body having mass. Gravity is important for slalom alpine skiing because if you started really high at the top of a steep hill, your skis would be off the ground. In this case, they aren't because of gravity. It causes your skis to stay on the ground while you are going down the steep hill. Last to talk about is drag. Drag is a pull. Someone it pulls someone or something along, roughly or with difficulty. Your skis, when you are making sharp turns while skiing, are pulling you left or right, whatever way you are running over the poles. That if you aren't careful enough, you could wipe out. Drag is also there when you get to the bottom of the hill to stop. And as you can see, Newton's three laws of motion are used a lot in slalom alpine skiing. Thank you for listening to my PowerPoint.